All right, I made it down here again, and um, I got a hurt. It's kind of heavy, but I doubt it's gold. It's got a really cheap uh, clasp on it. Um, I don't see nothing on it. I wasn't sure if it was light enough to start taping yet, but today I'm using the Excalibur 2. That's my metal detector. And the Stealth Scoop. Um, I still got people asking me, what metal detector are you using? So that's why I do that every time. Hopefully they'll watch the beginning. Um, yeah, so I've been digging fresh quarters. Uh, a couple, I think, uh, not kind of older dimes, but not real old, you know. Mostly fresh drops, though, even this one. But I'm going to keep going, and I'll show you guys if I find any more. Especially when the sun comes up, I'll do better. All right, I'm going to go ahead and try a live dig. Sounds like a, one of those foil things. I'm going to bottle drink. Yep, it is. Watch. <laughs> I know these things now. They sound almost like a ring, but a little different. I'll keep taping ring sounds. Probably a coin, I'm guessing. A lot of my targets have been deep, so it's hard to really say what they are. Well, that wasn't that deep, actually. But yeah, now it sounds like a coin. Sounds like a coin, and it is a coin. It's a penny. Uh, I'll show it to you guys. You don't really need to see a penny, but oh no, it's a dime. That's better than a penny. Uh, right? It's weird. I charge them up my thing here, my camera, and I get down here and I turn it on, and it's it's like already empty, and I had a full charge on it. I think I have to reset my battery or something. I already took a scoop on it, but probably just a coin. I'll go ahead and do it live. So you never know, Jeez. that was getting really loud. There we go. I see a ring. Oh, it's a lid, dang it. I found one of those last time I was down here. Just like a pickle jar lid or something, I don't know. Let's see here. Like really, who cares? I'm wasting tape here. <laughs> Some kind of Victoria jar lid. Oh, La Victoria <laughs> salsa. Oh, well. All right, it's getting a little lighter out. This is one of those little buzzy sounds. Typically nothing. I haven't heard a ring in so long that I forget what they sound like. Now that sounds good. Let's see what this is. <laughs> You're not going to believe it. <laughs> Sounded really good. I just dropped it. Great. All right, I'm gonna keep going. Mostly, I'm gonna be taping stuff like that because I, I could tape coins all day long. Coins are so obvious. Well, I was just on my way out of here, and 
I got a ring. <laughs> uh, I already know it's not real though. It sounded like a penny. Didn't sound like a gold ring, so. And it doesn't feel very heavy. And I don't see a mark in there. And it looks cheap. But, no, it actually looks really good for being fake. I mean, it looks fresh drop, basically. Fresh drop on a fake ring. But I'll take it. <laughs> I'm in the right direction. No cell phones. Ring, ring, ring. I gotta think ring. Alright, I stopped by a PB&J. I see one guy digging there. Looks like AT Pro uh, dry sand guy. And then one guy right down there, right past that tree. So there's two guys down here. Well, that I can see. There might be more. So there's always people detecting here. I feel like running out there and hitting it, but this isn't part of my plan. I just stopped by here to use the restroom. Anyways, on to the next beach. Oh yeah, Jordan says he got a another gold ring. So we'll see when I go see him. Well, I was getting ready to leave and I saw this guy down here. I'm going to go say hi to him. I'm actually running. <laughs> Look who it is. <laughs> I know the feeling, buddy. Don't cry about it. Man, this it's rough out there. Sucks! <laughs> Dude, I've dug nothing. I've got one quarter of a dime and three or four pennies. Hey, look, though, it's a beautiful day. I don't care. It's not what I came. <laughs> hey, Eric, congratulations. I heard about your ring, buddy. Good job. Now I'm going to go check out Jordan's rings. Um, Hopefully he's still waiting for me. I ran into Ross and started talking to him for a while, so. I'll show you when I get to Jordan. There's my car. Check it out. I found Jordan. And look what he found. Two gold rings. Nice big 10K with a ruby in it. There's some diamonds maybe, but they look kind of small. Thin. Oh yeah, there is diamonds in it. A nice with looking the, ring dude with the dirt then a 14k this one that's weird it says 585 on it 585 yeah and then it's got the number which is weird that, because it says 0 0.08 it's got the character sniffer said uh the one that says seven something is 18k and there's another one that could be that one that's yeah, 22k no this one's 14. oh it the is number 14. it looks like it was 14. because the ring i the, the one i found was identical on ebay all right, there's the 10K rings. Um, it's seven grams, well, seven point something, but we'll call it seven. And how much was that? 118? 118. For those. Now we're gonna add on the 14K. All right, here's a 14K ring. I showed it to you guys, I think. It weighs two and a half grams. And that one is how much? 59. $59 in a weight of gold. All right, here we go. This is the nice one that he found, the one with the diamond. And it says the size of it in there. 0. Point something 8 or something. Anyways, he wants 100 bucks for that one. It weighs 2.7 grams. $64 in weight of gold. It's $64 in the weight of gold, but that, that's such a nice diamond, he can't just sell it for the weight of gold. So he's going to ask 100 for that it's one. It's going on eBay for 283 It's going on eBay for 283 So 100 bucks for that one, it's still a good deal. And uh, we'll go ahead and add all the prices up here and see what we come up with. What we want? Two. That was three. 378 I think it said. All right, there they all are. Um, we're having a hard time. We're real tired right now. But it came up 273. We kind of rounded it up a little, down a little. Um, so 
So $273 if you want to buy them all. And he would like to just sell them all as a bundle. Uh, $273. Or the highest bidder. And uh, I'm not going to put an ending date on it. So you have to put your bid on my uh, comments below. If you want to buy these rings. And if not, well thanks for watching. I might go metal detecting some more. I don't know. I'm going to hit it. Alright, I'm continuing my hunt, and here's my first good target. Sounds like a penny. See it? It's a dime. Yeah, that's a good start. Um, I just walk down right there. Walk right down here. Um, the tide's coming up. I got a crummy target there, and I came up here and got a dime. So maybe this will be good. This sounds like a good target. My second target. Almost sounds like a nickel. A nickel. Maybe a quarter. A quarter. Oh, it is a nickel. I knew it. Alright, I'm going to keep going. I'm just going to show you guys if I find a good target. Alright, I'm at home now. Here's what I got. A bunch of bottle caps. I went ahead and I didn't have to dig them, but I did anyways. Just to get them out of the sand. I got 10, 20. 28 pennies, 3 nickels, $7 and quarters, $7 and quarters, that's pretty good, I got a buck 30 in dimes, so that's $8 right there, I paid for my trip, um, and I had a good, good hunt, it was fun hunting, I liked it, I got a pack of those, I think they only took one out, it's brand new, um, I guess they're chewing things. I got a ring. Pretty cool looking ring, but looks is all it is. This, I forgot to check if it's silver or not. It's real heavy, though. I got a Mexican coin. It's weird, it's a 1959. That's pretty old. I think it says uh, Cesar Chavez or something. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> this is weird too. I got 10 pence. That's a different country. It's not Mexico. Um, it's like English or something. I don't know. But anyways, it's a 1950. <laughs> Two old coins that are uh, foreign. I just thought that was strange. Uh, yeah, it was a really fun hunt for me. I really had, a, I loved it today. I mean, it is be it was beautiful out today. Look at the sky. There was little clouds and stuff, so it wasn't too hot. I love it down there when it's like that. And um, I got to see Ross and Jordan was down there and. Jordan got some cool rings, and um, yeah, it was a really good trip, and uh, I guess I missed my buddy Eric, he was down there, he had got an, a nice gold ring, and then a silver ring too, so he did good, and you know what, seeing all these gold little things pop out of the ground gives me hope, because I was losing hope, <laughs> um, but anyways, I had a good hunt, I call it a good hunt. Even though my ring's fake and my other thing's probably fake, I got my trip paid for. I got to go to the beach for free. <laughs>
Yeah, so um, I'm going to post this now.